Hello, you are watching Balibo Math Genius Riddles. The questions x squared plus quantity x over x minus 1 squared equal to 3. Find the value of x. It seems easy, but it is difficult due to the fraction with square. In this video, we share a math trick to get the solution easily. Would you please to submit if you are interested? Post the video and try it while you are ready. Keep watching the video to know the math trick. The equations x squared plus quantity x over x minus 1 squares equal to 3. To find the value of x, basically we may develop these two items then submit in the new quadratic equations. But a little bit challenge. We have x power 4 while we develop all these items. Finally, you may get the answer. In this video, we think different way. Look at the two items in the left side of equations that we square. Can we find the relationship with the fraction x over x minus 1 and x? If yes, then this is a new approach. So I define x equal to a and the x over x minus 1 equal to b. Try to find the relationship between a and b. So if a plus b, what will happen? a plus b equal to x plus x over x minus 1. Reduction it as x squared minus x plus x over x minus 1. Eliminate minus x and x in the numerators. It equal to x squared over x minus 1. Then how about a times b? a times b equal to x times x over x minus 1 equal to x squared over x minus 1. So the value for a plus b equal to ab equal to x squared over x minus 1. After that, substitute x by a and x over x minus 1 by b to the given equations get a squared plus b squared equal to 3. It's a new progress. We have two new equations a plus b equal to ab and a squared plus b squared equal to 3. I'm going to generate a plus b factor into a squared plus b squared equal to 3. So add 2ab to both sides of equations due to a plus b equal to ab. So adjust the item in the right side of equation with item a plus b. And uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equal to quantity a plus b squared. Move all the items to one side, get quantity a plus b squared minus 2 times quantity a plus b minus 3 equal to 0. Then treat a plus b as one item. Factorize it become quantity a plus b minus 3 multiplies quantity a plus b plus 1 equal to 0. It is that a plus b minus 3 equal to 0 or a plus b plus 1 equal to 0. Get a plus b equal to 3 or a plus b equal to minus 1. We get a result from previous input a plus b equal to x squared over x minus 1. So it becomes 3 equal to x squared over x minus 1 or minus 1 equal to x squared over x minus 1. Then, to get the solutions easily from these two new equations, let's find them one by one. While 3 equal to x squared over x minus 1, time x minus 1 to both sides to remo remove the fraction as 3x minus 3 equal to x squared. Move all the items to the same side of our equation cut x squared minus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. 
we know the formula to get x from a squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, x equal to mass b plus mass square root of b square mass 4ac over 2a. Adapt the formula to this equation, x equal to mass bracket mass 3 bracket plus mass square root of quantity mass 3 squared mass 4 times 1 times 3 over 2 times 1 equal to 3 plus mass square root of 9 mass 12 over 2 equal to 3 plus mass mass 3 square root of 2 equal to 3 plus mass 3 square root of i over 2 that's the two answers from this equation so we get more while mass 1 equal to x square over x mass 1 same approach generate an equation as x square plus x mass 1 equal to 0 adopt same formula to get x x equal to mass 1 plus mass square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 equal to mass 1 plus mass 5 square root over 2 that's all the answer we get do you find how you to enjoy the video thank you